Revolution is here. Gonna ride my bike, gonna go somewhere. It's summertime, and isn't it great? It's summertime when everything's great. Okay, he's in the band, I guess. Thank you. This place looks really familiar. Yeah, it was once owned by a very famous architect who unfortunately passed away. Oh, that's right, he died of AIDS. Yeah. So sad. Oh, deviled eggs! Edward? I'm Edward, yes. And your? I'm, I'm Edward. But not Junior? Not Junior. Now let's go over your name for a second. Dejana. Dejana. That is an unusual name, yes? My parents made it up. Oh, well, I kind of like that. I know, right? How old are you? I'm 12. 12? Yeah. Okay. This beautiful body is only 12. What? Who in the family, besides your father, is the best singer? Me. I think I'm an excellent singer. I'm the best. Tonality, they have two different ranges, two different sounds, and so we're so but when we combine our three voices together, we come up with some pretty amazing harmonies. So I don't know if I would use the word amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Can we hear a little harmony? It's summertime, and isn't it great? It's summertime when everything's great. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sounds better live. We do very little vocal processing at home in our studio, so. <laughs> it's starting to get uh, a bit stale, the bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tastes better that way, actually. You think so? I love stale bread. <laughs> hey, what's that weird game you guys play where you just hold a, a towel and spin in circles? A tug of war? Yeah. Let me tell you something. You don't spin during tug of war. Which one of you, I, I, I believe it was you, Danianiana? Dejana. Dejana, who can harness uh, energy balls. It's this normal video the whole way, and then for no reason, all of a sudden you can harness Hadouken power. We like having like pizzazz to the videos that we make, so yes. You made a new video. Skip, 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 slide. Skip, skip, slide, slide, tickle, yeah. Walk, 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 skip, 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 tickle, yeah. At what age do you think you have to stop tickling your sister? No age. Oh, Whatever it is, they haven't hit that yet. They yeah. haven't hit it yet. Dejeta. Dejana. Dejana. Who were those brats in the tank tops? They were my brother's friends, actually. And you might even call them a girlfriend. Oh. I just call them friends. Uh-huh. Is one of them more friendly than the other? No, I'd say they're all equally friendly here. I like what you're saying. Are you looking to make a solo album? I never actually considered that. I like to you know, do things together as a group here. I know, but you start doing the math in your head, and you realize, hey, if I cut out, we all bring our special talents I into the I hear you, but it, so. your special talent might be a little better if uh, isn't in the group anymore. Excuse me. Deandra? Dejana. Dejana. Do you guys have any pets? No. We do, we, actually. We actually, we do. We do. We do. Yeah. Get on the same story. <laughs> Dehadra. I just don't like pets in general. You know? Oh, you don't like pets in general? Yeah. Have you killed any? No. Okay. What happened to your mother? Mom does most of the behind the scenes type of work. Okay, good. I thought she wasn't alive. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hi. I hope I'm not eating your sandwich. No. <laughs> Drink up. Oh, okay. oh sure. sure. Great. I think your mom might be brainwashing you guys. Uh, sure. Don't drink that. Listen, new family, I know we're all bummed that summertime is over, but I'm willing to put my dignity aside to help you make your next cheesy seasonal music video. Out of sight. Groovy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I hate autumn. Yeah, autumn sucks. Summer is over, we're glum. Cause now it's time for a stupid autumn. It's our least favorite time of year. song when I go back to school I'll get kicked in the dong it's an awful time of the it's year it's autumn time now listen to me it's autumn time just kill me please see the leaves on the ground I want to set them on fire and torch this whole town it's a morbid time of the Coming year and fun 
if you give me that knife, I'll kill everyone. I lose control this time of the it's year. It's autumn time, and boy, it's rough. It's autumn time, and I've had enough. See all the trees turning brown. We drained our pool, cause some fat kid drowned. It's an awful time of the year. I think your family is weird. With your tucked in shirts and dead eyed cheer, there is something wrong with you. Of course, you kids are sad. You've got a giant nerd for a dad. Something's really wrong with him. Our marriage is starting to feel forced. We are growing apart. We are getting divorced. I want to go back to El Salvador. It's autumn time and everything is dying. It's autumn time. According to the marks I made on the basement wall to track the position of the sun. Please, someone help us. We're being trapped against our will. If you can hear my voice, please call the local authorities that I've been trapped in this guy's basement for 14 years. I'm not his daughter. My name is Samantha. And I was kidnapped from Rochester, New York when I was eight. It's autumn time. We don't like it at all. It's autumn time. Can we just call it? Fall. <laughs> All right, enough happiness. This is exactly why I don't spend time with my real family. <laughs> Can I keep this one for myself, Father? It's not that far. Just go. You better jump, Nikki. <laughs> Why didn't you jump? Welcome. As everyone knows, the internet has been very good to me, which is why I created this nonprofit hospital to give back to those who have injured themselves, creating comedy gold for me. Thank, Thank you, Daniel. Daniel. You guys are welcome. We have a new member with us today. Hi, my name is Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Your fails do not define you. Good to know. I'm 20 years old, and I jumped off the roof of my house trying to impress my boyfriend. I'm Kurt, and I did the 14 pounds of raw bacon challenge. That's not a real challenge! Sharkeisha, no! Sharkeisha's right. My name is Al. I hyperextended my anus muscle while performing the goat scene. None of you? <laughs> all right, that's all the time for today. Everyone, please return to their quarters. Nicole, I need to do a full psych evaluation on you and up your meds. Why did you jump off the roof? Because they told me to. <laughs> I was told that you, you jumped off the roof because you were trying to impress your boyfriend. Is that true? He could dive head first off the roof. But I was like, heck, I could do it. So I got up onto the wall, and I got scared. I was like, I don't want to do it no more. They're like, just do it, just do it. And you hear him in the video telling me to jump. Just go. You better jump, Nikki. Oh, he was there. No, he was at work. So that's how come we videotaped it, so he could see it when he got off work. Have you ever uh, filmed yourself on video doing anything else that he might enjoy? No. Oh. <laughs> How'd you get onto the roof? I got pulled up, actually. By a man? No, by her. Oh, what kind of friend do you hang out with? She's not my friend. I don't even know her name. Really? This girl just was horrible. She is mean, and she stole my clothes after every and pills. What after kind of everything. pills? They are Percocets. <laughs> How confident were you that you were going to make it into the water? Well, before I got into the roof, I was really confident. What about in the air? In the air, I knew I wasn't going to make it. First of all, why did you hesitate? Because I was scared. I was scared of heights. What happened when you hit the pavement? I heard a loud crash, and I felt lightning bolts go up my legs. <laughs> why didn't you jump? Did you change clothes before going to the hospital? No. So you showed up at the hospital in a bikini? I did, and then oh. they brought me a shirt. What actually broke? My heels. They don't actually do anything for it, do they? Uh, they were gonna do surgery and push them back together, but I didn't have medical insurance, so they didn't do it. Did you heal the right way? No. We asked you, uh, your mother how much everything costs, and she said $30,000, but in the video you guys only wanted 4200 She wanted us to be able to find our house. Medical bills will go on forever. But you didn't have any, do you have medical bills from it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought, I thought you just declined because you didn't have the insurance. Oh, well, yeah, they declined me on the surgery for like three months, and by the time I was able to get the surgery, my feet were pretty much healed, and he didn't want to re-break them. Are you not the same? Uh, I limp, I walk kind of funny, and I can't wear high heels anymore. How do you dress slutty? 
I can't. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Should the internet have to pay every time you do something stupid? I would love for him to do it, but no. <laughs> Other than heights, what else are you scared of? Cars. You're scared like, of cars? Well, yeah, because what if they break down or blow up when you're in them? Sure. Do <laughs> you think you'll ever try it again? Yeah, probably. Why'd you get your tongue pierced? Because my dad told me not to. <laughs> Have you ever bungee jumped? No. Skydived? No. I would. You're afraid of heights, but you would skydive. You gotta do everything at least once. What about double penetration anal? No. Okay, then. No to double penetration anal. Okay, enough of the chit-chat about your feelings. It's time for some physical therapy. How are we doing today? I'm doing great. I'm averaging a four-minute mile. I'm definitely ready to go home. Okay, that's good. We can discuss that when you're up for evaluation in six months. Okay, but now it's time for your pills. Keep it up. No one ever leaves here. I've been here for 2,345 Fridays. Oh my god, you're Rebecca Black. I've got to get out of here. Do you think you're going? I'm not spending another minute here. Mercy's grab her! Ah! You overshot it! <laughs> Definitely didn't see that coming. But I'll see you in rehab tomorrow morning. Welcome back. Sarah, this has never happened, and if I move, it sinks lower. Oh. <laughs> Sarah, help me. I'm not kayak sinking. Sam. Sarah, I don't know what to do. I can't help you. I'm sorry. Can you get my Stand up. No. Yes. Oh no, there's it's too deep. Ah, nah. It's on your shirt. Ah, yeah. Oh, Sarah, help me. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Daniel is a 28-year-old host of a television show on Comedy Central. For his one item, he asked to bring a gun. Producer said no. He then asked for a million dollars, which was also rejected, so he asked for 50 wishes. We explain that the show is not a genie. After denying him a cute two-bed, two-and-a-half bath cabin, he asked what would be in his mystery basket, and we told him that this isn't chopped. So he got angry and said, fine, I'm not bringing anything then. Five minutes later, he called back and asked about a 24-foot-long hoagie from Subway. We said no, so he settled on bringing butt wipes. Max is a 20-something ginger with a fear of water. Hey, Daniel. Hey, you must be Max. Yeah. How, uh... Ari, anytime I'm naked and afraid, I get the worst fear boners. What item did you bring? I brought a Keurig. Genius! I know, I was hoping you'd have some K-cups. Ah, I should have. I just brought butt wipes. Smart, can I use one? Don't test me. How old are you? I am 21. 21 years yes, old. Yes. And where was that video? It was in northern Wisconsin. Was it a lake? It was a river. What are your survival skills like? Oh, God. Yeah. Terrible. I'm uncoordinated, I'm not athletic, and I hate nature. We're gonna die out here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Why did you freak out? Because it was about five feet of water, but then six feet of muck. It was gross. I was like, I didn't want to touch the bottom. No one wants to touch that stuff. Who wants to deal with fish? They're, they're like under you don't like fish? No. What, do you have to eat them? Not even. You don't have to eat fish? No. They don't have legs. And oh, of course they don't have legs. Right. Well, that, it's like snakes. I don't like it. I don't want to eat snakes, though. Right. No seafood. No. What about shrimp? I can do like cocktail shrimp. They have, oh, and, and, and lobster, they have legs? I don't like lobster. They have legs. Yeah, I don't like lobster anyway. What's a so. scallop look like? When it's alive? Um, I have no idea. Sam! Sarah, I don't know what to do. Were you upset with your friend Sarah? Uh, no. There wasn't much she could do. I assume she didn't start filming immediately, so yeah, how long she, were no, you? she did. I was ahead of her. She came up behind me, heard me screaming, and just pulled out the camera. How long were you out of the kayak? For like an hour. So for an hour, Sarah did nothing? <laughs> she sort of just floated around me. Did you go to the bathroom? In the in the water? Yeah. No. The whole you're out there for over an hour. Yeah. 
I always go when I'm in the water. You ever shop at REI? No, it's like an outdoorsy uh, no, store? No, I don't. Smart wool socks. They Smart, sell those. Okay. I'm a fan of a good sock. I, I like socks. I have a lot of crazy socks. Yeah. yeah. Fun socks are the, kind of the thing right now. They are, yeah. Don't worry about that. Okay. Enough of the small talk. First things first, if we're going to survive for 21 days, we need to determine what day of the week is date night. Why do we need a date night? It's good for morale. I'm going to spend the whole day preparing a fancy make-believe meal, and then we're going to make love. All right. But first, we need some clothes. Yes. Great, you found some fruit. Is there any more? No. It's all for my hat. Now let's go build some shelter. It's night one, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and Daniel spent most of the day sunbathing. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I can't sleep. I think I left my garage door open. Where did you get a mask? Found it in a tree. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. Joanna is just going to relax her lips and she's just going to receive my kiss. <laughs> and she's feeling all of my energy that we talked about in the touch exercise and the sensation of the softness of my lips against hers. How was that? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you can use your lips to kiss. You can use one lip to kiss. You can use your tongue to kiss and you can do all this just on the outer lips before we even go inside. One of the other things that you can do when you're kissing is using your breath. And so there's a blowing that can happen. You can actually even nibble too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it's done. Thank you guys for being here. Have a little sugar. Okay, I uh, <laughs> need you guys to get off. My legs are falling asleep, okay? All right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what is date camp? Date camp's sort of like band camp for adults, single adults. Just meaning not married? Not or, in relationship. Not in a relationship. So, so people show up completely alone and you just pair them up with somebody? They get to pair themselves. <laughs> How do you make the move to make the first kiss? Because there's nothing more embarrassing than going in and the other person does not want to receive. So if I move towards her a little bit, is she moving back? Is she staying there? Or is she coming to meet me? But if bit? she's going back, maybe she wants you to lie on top of her. Not like that. <laughs> for first kiss. Okay. If I want you to come in, I'm at a minimum going to stay right where I'm at. So basically, if you don't run away, I'm green light. If I move back even a fraction, and don't. this is the first kiss, stop. So much to remember. to be in the end, isn't it? <laughs> well, it is. There's so much pressure. All you have to do is not move back. Well, we could do the same I, thing. Let's say she wants to kiss me. Yeah, so although she, so I'm she never moves in a little. The first kiss. I, can, I can. Oh, that's a, that's a mistake. Yeah. You should. It's very, very empowering oh, to be a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Is there such thing as too much tongue? I enjoy tongue, and it can be too much. It's not about shoving it in. <laughs> sure. Now, in your original video, you guys kept your eyes open every time you were making out. Now, to me, that is just creepy. This is where it goes from just sex to like your whole body experience. Uh, do you guys work with gay couples? I work with gay and lesbian couples, and it's not my personal experience, so it's not as easy. I haven't actually walked the path. Don't you have. think you should walk that path for a little bit? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to watch her so walk, that walk that path? Oh, man, that'd be nice. <laughs> do you do that tantric sex stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Does that get boring after a while? Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have things to do during the day? Oh, there's plenty of time for good sex. What's the least amount of sex a healthy relationship can have? 
I would say a couple times a week. I think Please. once. I think once a week is fine. I no? disagree. No. How often do you so jog? Good. Oh, probably once every three weeks. See? <laughs> I jog six times a week. Okay, well therein lies the problem. But you're not having sex for exercise. To me, it's still it's still the same chore. I just want to get so to it. you're not a guy that likes to make women happy? I like to make them happy one time, and as quick as I can. <laughs> Here's the thing, a good orgasm and a bad orgasm feel about the same. So to me, it's like, let's just get this over with. It's not all about the sex and the inti intimacy but it's all about the sex and the intimacy. Like how good we are is all about the intimacy and the sex that we share. I don't understand that at all, but you did say it three times. <laughs> You're right, I know. Golden showers, is that something you guys ever talk about in your classes? No. No, <laughs> no. okay, that's good, there's, the, there's that line. Do you guys feel the energy right now? Actually, you and I got a good energy going. I don't, I don't disagree with that. As do we. I don't deny that either. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> right, you guys are wonderful, but I think it's time for you to try my KISS boot camp. Really? Okay. It's a little more intense. <laughs> All right. All right, kids, I hope you were taking notes. Now, don't tell your parents. Who wants to give Uncle Daniel a kiss? Yeah! A tent, hood! Welcome to the Fort Daniel Kiss Academy, where the only base we care about on this base is first base. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, yes Sergeant Jan. Oh, you think you're good at kissing, do you? I was kissing hookers and nan before your daddy shot you out of his shaft. Well, if it isn't Sanford and Sung. You better wipe that smile off your face before I kiss it off. Yeah, Private Tegan, Private Sarah, so nice of you to join us. Lucky for you two ladies, we have a do-ass, do-tell policy around here. Hot. Let's get to work! Have uh, the cherry stem in a knot, please. Done, done. It's impressive. 58, 59, smooch like you mean it, maggot! Kiss my boots, private. These are my privates, these are my lips, this is a screw, and this is a kiss. Your pants are awfully high, private. Rise and shine, Kissanova's time for a breath check. Good Lord, Private Lights Out was 20 minutes ago. How did you manage to whip up the worst batch of morning breath that has ever wafted up my nostrils? Everyone eat up, enjoy raw onion. God damn it, Dwayne, someone needs to teach you a lesson. Got him? Yeah, man, oh, niggas on the river. This is a big ass fish. This motherfucker's fighting the shit out of black ass nigga like me. <laughs> and we're gonna do a little bit of crabbing out here today. And we're not talking about the ones that itch your balls. Now what does the bobber do? Bobber is a motherfucking thing that's gonna let you know when the fish has put that shit in his mouth. What I like to do is I like to take the sand shrimp from behind and stick that thing right in his asshole. I'm thinking that that's his asshole because it's the end of him. <laughs> I was scared to pick the motherfucker up because he looked like a big ass dinosaur ass shark. He fighting. He's a fighter. That nigga don't want to go to jail. <laughs> this nigga don't want to go to jail right here. Shh, shh. White people, this nigga's on the boat and y'all standing on the dock. Welcome to Niggas on the River. I'm your host, Crappie Killer, and this is West Red Diamond. Today, we are fishing in a disgusting, polluted pond near Culver City with our special guest, Daniel Tosh. Niggas on the River. <laughs> hey, shouldn't I have a fun nickname too? Like Cracker on the Creek or Honky on the Harbor? How about Aqua Nazi? Yeah, Aqua Nazi, that's good. Hey, is it cool just while we're on the river if you let me use the N word? Say it and find out. That sounds like a test. I don't think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> hey, you want some fish sticks? Yeah, fish no, sticks. I don't want no fish sticks. I got tartar sauce. I don't want no fish These sticks. are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you guys related? Brothers. <laughs> yeah. You're brothers. Yeah. Brothers. How did you come up with West Brand and Crappie Killer? What do these names mean? 
you know, West bread means like bread in the West. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm a, I'm a rapper, I do music. Uh -huh. So it was just like, that was something that I just typically ran with. But he's been crappie killer since he's been killing a hundred. Crappie ain't nothing but a little small panfish. That's what a crappie look like. Uh -huh. I was just known for killing them. Moms, dads, baby, sister, brothers, grandmas, grandpas. We done caught the whole tribe. And does that get you as much cred? killing little crappies? <laughs> <laughs> it's about how many you can catch. Okay. So you're up in Portland. Yeah. Oh, do you like it up there? It's wet, but it's good. I know, but so many uh, drug addicts up there. <laughs> <laughs> right? You gotta come up there and see for yourself. All right, so how long have you had this show of yours, this channel? Here, a little over a year. We started in October. October. Who came up with the title? Me. He came up with the title. Me. Inappropriate. It wasn't inappropriate. Inno it stands it wasn't for something strong. I hear you, it's just so hard to say it. I have to look around like this. Yeah, you, you, a few times. <laughs> no. The rapper Tupac came up with it. Never, did he? Yeah, oh, yeah, he did. Never ignorant getting goals accomplished. And, oh. it, and it came because we was like actually starting to get like profiled every time we went out there. It was like going, like standing on a block in Compton or some shit. First of all, you're in Portland, uh, you know, on a river. <laughs> There's just, not too many black people there anyway. Right. I mean, except for the Trailblazers. That's it. <laughs> you know who the original NODR is? No. Who? The guy from Huck Finn. N word Jim. They did make us read that in school yep. because that was something I was mad of. And it, it, it's not the N I G G A. No, it isn't. Oh, it's the Nick nigger Jim. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Uh, nigger Jim. That they, wanted, they wanted you to know who he was. Oh, no, we don't know that Jim. Do you feel that black people don't fish as much or no? No, it it's is. a lot of it's black a, people that fish. Of course. They it's might get harassed a little bit more, but. Who yeah. are you getting harassed by? The game warden. Game warden. The police. Yeah. Did they hassle you about the weed at all? Some of that good old Oregonian tree. Good for the blood sugar. But you can't do it while you operate no machinery or nothing. But I mean, as long as you smoking before and after, then hey. Yeah. Okay, but you guys are smoking during, let's be honest. Uh, no. It's medicine. Sure. <laughs> Is your Moby Dick even bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Moby Dick. Oh no, man, but I, you know, I had no complaints. Yeah. What about the, those good old boys at Bass Pro Shop? They, they, they nice to you? They all love us. I mean, before, they all love I'm gonna be honest though, before the show, it was more so like, hey, who's that? Like, that's why we came up with the name, like, there's the niggas. Like, you know, there's the niggas. That's how we felt when we got out there. It was like, they gonna pull up the niggas. Well, said anyway. Now they just pull up and be like, what up, guys? And then they'd be wanting to say it. They'd be like, hey, it's the guys. The, yeah. the, it's. The river! You! <laughs> do you guys ever bring token white friends with you fishing? Always. Yeah, we always do. I got, got a lot of white friends. friends. Of white friends. You guys can, now can really relate to what Tiger Woods went through. Oh, man. God, and you Having to hang out with all these white people. No, not that part. No, no, we like <laughs> hanging out with the white people. I hear you, but I'm just saying. Tiger did too, because he was getting a whole lot of pussy. He was getting pussy on his, he was like, Yeah, he was but the pussy is what brought him down. Yeah. yeah. We trying to catch fishes. Mm -hmm. Not bitches. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of those meth heads that are on uh, the, the deadliest catch? Why would you first know? Why would you call them meth heads? I didn't even Which know they ones was, I didn't even know they was on meth. You know, because they're all, that you came dressed like he was on the deadliest catch right now. I'm Gorton's son. Uh, <laughs> any fish that you guys don't fuck with at all? No, we fuck with everything. I don't anything, eat none anything. of them. He's allergic to them. So what do you do with you? Do you sell it? Do you I just it? give it to him. Uh huh. And I eat it. What kind of cruel god? makes you such a great fisherman allergic to fish. At one point, I can eat them. It used to be he couldn't eat the fish. When we was, was kids, backwards. he couldn't I eat I couldn't eat shellfish and certain fish at all when I was a kid. Then I got older and grew out of it. You guys might have like, peed together in a magic <laughs> well and switched personalities. We done did plenty of crisscrosses when we was little. <laughs>